means where they get to the red line and they're not getting that puck over the goal line of the Owens Town attack so they can get that clean change or get that strong forecheck. And, and that may be something that uh, they could prove costly, prove costly on the first goal. We see Gavris, got a hard no down, down yeah. in an awkward position. And uh, he's not getting up. Uh, we see them. We'll be able to see the replay here. And it looks like uh, it looks like Tyler Randall finishing his check here. I'll see if we get a chance to take a look at it. We can see Gavis. So he's just moving his legs now. So nobody wants to see anybody get hurt. And Gavis has spent some time with the training staff already this year. So here's a second look at it. And you see, and it's, it looks like a shoulder to the head of Gavis there. And Again, it's tough to tell when you've got a, a tall guy like Tyler Randall coming in there. Uh, doesn't look like he targeted the head with an elbow or anything like that. But well, it looks the like referees at center ice are discussing it, and Keevan Cutting wanted to get his opinion known when they and the shoot hand him away. Okay, I was going to say, it looked like they were almost, I don't know if they were trying to say uh, a game misconduct there, the way the hand signals were going, but he was just shooting Keevan Cutting away. But the thing you need to remember is the linesmen, I believe, can only call five minute majors. They can't call. Uh, they can't call two-minute minors. They can't call head checks or anything like that. But you see, when you see Danny Liebold out there uh, looking at him too, that you know something, uh, something a little more serious when you see the, the other team's training staff go out there. Well, Andy Reid, the Owen Sound trainer, was very quickly out to uh, Arthur Gavris, and now we've got the conversation at center ice with a look at Keevan Cutting taking the elbow into the head motion, and Scott Ferguson waving him off. So. We'll have to wait and see if, even if there is a call because I don't think anybody saw it initially. And there's Tyler. There's Tyler Randall. It's his fate they're discussing. And Gavris has now made it to the players bench, but uh, he's pretty wobbly, Scott. Yeah, he's, well, he's wobbly here. And we'll take a look at another angle of the replay here. And from this angle, it looks like the, the elbows are down. It's just that shoulder. Right there. You see reaching for the puck there, and you see here comes Randall here looking for that puck. And you can just see it's that shoulder right, right to the head there. And you can see the shoulder comes through a little bit at the, the end, which is where Kevin Cutting was, was trying to say that, that elbow in motion. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a head check. That's what the talk's all about, whether, it's, uh, whether it was targeted or not. It doesn't look like it was, it was targeted. But, again, I'm not Dave Branch. I'm not Brendan Shanahan. I have yeah. no idea what exactly to look at. But... Uh, you know, you see Tyler Randall there. And what's the other thing is in, in playoffs, you can buy back suspensions, but only certain suspensions can be bought back, so you don't know what uh, 